Hello everyone, my Yusuf here. Very happy to be live with you today. The sun is shining and I feel great today. Um, so today I wanted to share with you a very, very important hack to help you balance your right and left hand. Now, this is one of the challenges that face a lot of Kanun players in the beginning of their journey. Um, and it's super important. So I'll explain to you why in a minute, but now I'm just going to share this in my group. Hello, welcome. So if you're watching live, drop me an emoji, uh, drop me a comment. And if you're watching replay, post hashtag replay. So I'm just going to find this post and share it in my group. Hello. Okay, here we are. Share to learn. Come on. Uh, share in a group. And that is learn. Learn. Here we are. Done. Okay. Perfect. So, why it's so important to, to balance your right and left hand? Because if you're right and, and left hand is not balanced um, then there will be a strain in your playing uh, and again I spoke about how you need to sort of like rid yourself of any strain in order to get to a state of flow and uh, obviously naturally as humans we have one hand that is stronger than the other hand so that is natural um, and and when it comes to, to, to playing the canoe, you need to use both of them. So if whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you need to work on your weak hand daily. And again, the goal is to basically slip out from strain to flow to a state where you're not really thinking about your technique anymore. And that's where the magic happens, yeah? So, um, you know, athletes, they all athletes in the world, they, they start the day with their warming up exercises. And I know this is, this sounds, might sound boring to some, might sound unattractive to some, but without those boring, uh, sorry, without those, not boring, without those, those um, key exercises, then you won't be able to flex your muscles in order to get to uh, an optimum state of performance. So um, consider this like the warming up, yeah, of um, before you start to play all, all the things, the other things that you're practicing. So basically the one very simple exercise that you can do now is basically exercise the weak hand. Actually you need to exercise both of them every day. And do that as a ritual. You can you can set a time. You say, okay, every day for ten minutes, I'm just gonna exercise my hands, uh, and I'm gonna set that time. And it's very simple. You choose a scale. So you you change your levers to a scale. I'm just gonna go to Hijaz. Um, and and you basically, hello Tamim, welcome. Um, and you basically start basically going up and down the scale. And again, repeat. So this is my right hand. This is my right hand, so it's my strong hand. And you will notice, even till now, even till now, my left hand is still weaker than my right hand. So this will be slightly slower than, than this hand. There's a bit more effort. Basically, and then if you get bored with the with the with the scale with the maqam, you change the scale. You go to to rest. <laughs> Try to make it in a way that it has variety. So like, so every day. So say you're gonna do six times your right hand and six times your left hand. And and then and then uh, and you you start practicing the pieces or or anything that you are working on, yeah. Uh, but first, first is that you work on on your hands in isolation and then together, and then you start 
practicing. Um, so many musicians skip this, and this is the reason why so many musicians stay stuck in one piece, in one like stage of their career. And I mean, again, uh, like to be, you know, the if if there's an athlete, then they warm up before they start doing. If there's a basketball player, you know that he's he he or she warms up before they start throwing the balls over and over. Yeah. So this is like the base ground from which you build up on everything. Um, so exercise each hand in isolation and then together and you will find over time the, 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 you know, the, the weaker hand will get stronger and, um, that will help you in, in great way. So I hope that was of, of help. Hello, Yahya. Hello, Manaf. Welcome everyone. So, um, tomorrow I will speak to you about the what not to look for in a canoon. I get a lot of questions. One of the frequently asked questions that I get is that, Maya, if uh, I live somewhere, you know, where it's hard to get canoons and I find a canoon and how do I know if it's a good canoon or, or a bad canoon? Um, so basically I'm going to tell you the seven things to avoid in a canoon. So um, I hope you tune in. I will be live tomorrow at 11 a.m. not the usual time because I have to be somewhere else at 1 p.m. Um, so drop me an emoji let me know if that was of help and I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bye-bye! Have a great day!